All right. Uh, incredibly proud of this football team. Uh, as honestly, all the years and wins and all that stuff, this was as fun a win as I can remember as a, as a head coach. Just with with all the you know all the all the changes, all the back and forth. You know, six weeks. You know, twenty plus guys didn't you know that, that didn't play in this game for for different reasons. Um, we we could have come into this game you know not caring about it. We could, this team could easily uh, you know. This team could have got a lot of different ways with it. And to see us come play as well as we did uh, on all three sides, big plays on all three sides, that's a good football team we just got beat or that we just beat up on. Um, it's a really good football team and uh, you know, a team that had a lot more of their guys throughout the season than, than we certainly did. And, uh, and so you know, for us to not use that as an excuse uh, and to use it as something that really motivated us, motivated our team, motivated our coaches, uh, was was really really special, and to see, I thought I thought the team leadership in this game was as strong as it was uh, the entire year, um, and I thought that was a big reason why the guys played the way we did. And I was especially proud because I one of the things I told the coaches you know today was I thought it'd be really important for us to get off to a good start, and we did completely the opposite. All right, we went three and out, they go down and score, and it's like all right, where, where are you at now? And, and then we went on a great run, um, and guys made big plays, and it was just a lot of fun. Honestly, kind of didn't want the game to be over in a lot of ways. And so really proud of this group, proud of the leadership. Um, this is uh, it's significant for the guys that have been here in the beginning of this journey, and there's been a lot of great moments in the first two years. Now, they're going to get a lot better, and it's going to get a lot more fun as we go, but it had to start somewhere, and a lot of the guys in the locker room were a part of that. Um, and, and a special thanks to – the guys that, that, that stayed around because it was important to them, because the team was important to them, because USC was important to them. A special thanks to the coaches that did that. It was not an easy situation, especially for some of the coaches on our staff. Um, and our coaches, especially our defensive guys, did a hell of a job tonight. They got our guys ready to play. A lot of really good coaches and a lot of really good people on the staff where they could have turned and tried to go on to the next thing. And they, they stayed because it was important. And that's you know, honestly, a bunch of guys in the locker room and the coaching staff that felt that way, and that's the reason why we won the game. If we wouldn't have had that, uh, we wouldn't be. We would already be on the bus ride home, and it'd be somebody else sitting, another coach sitting up here at this podium right now. So, very appreciative to all those guys. Great, great win. Uh, great way to end the season. He was awesome. He was awesome. I, I, I'm not a bit surprised with how he played. He just did what. He's been doing in practice, uh, really, you know, for a while. But especially kind of the second half of this year, I mean, every practice, I mean, the guy was just getting better and better. So I knew he would be very confident coming in, um, and it was great to see him respond. Kind of the same thing. We go, we go three and out there on the first drive, and and to see him respond and make some of the throws that he made, he was really dialed into the game plan. He trusted his guys. He got the ball out on time. It was just a, it was a tremendous quarterbacking performance, and, and obviously a lot of guys around him played very well and made plays and. Um, but he certainly led the charge. Just a quick reminder, guys, wait to ask your questions so we can get a mic to you. This is being live streamed from one of the questions. Back to the coach. Um, what's your thoughts on uh, the receiver situation? Because Ray that they were attacking the ball, making the uh, plays for your quarterback. They were great. They were great. Guys made a lot of competitive plays. It was fun to see you know, a combination of young guys, uh, you know, step up and make some big time plays. Uh, obviously, there were several of those, and see some of our, our, our kind of older veteran guys, Taj, you know, Kyron, some of those guys step up. Uh, it was it was huge uh, to see Tabo step in. You know, for for Lake after Lake got injured was awesome. There was just uh, yeah a lot of playmakers on both sides. Guys had chances to make plays on both sides and really stepped up. Yeah, I give our guys a lot of credit. Um, like I said, I give our coaches here a lot of credit over the last six weeks, our defensive players, guys stepped up. We had I mean, we had guys in different positions. I mean, Jalen Smith played a position tonight. He's, he's you know, never played before. Uh, Max has always played a million different positions, so that wasn't much new to him. Um, but yeah, to see, you know, see Profit step up, to see some of our young defensive players step up, some guys that hadn't played very many snaps for us all year. I mean, we had to, I mean, a week ago, 
uh, basically a week ago, we had to cha basically completely change the defensive game plan because of the players that were available and a few guys that decided not to be here. And and our guys didn't flinch. Our coaches didn't flinch. These guys didn't flinch. The leaders didn't flinch. We wasn't ideal. Uh, we changed it, and uh, the guys flew around, played hard, played very physical, and uh, yeah, super super proud of them. Especially the turnovers, because like the the first turnover was what got us going, and then I and then like. Defensively, we got us going with the first one, and we shut the door at the end with the last one. Coach. Uh, Kansas Barry, touchdowns and tangents. Lincoln, with the way Miller performed, has he solidified his status as a starter next season, and will you still pursue a high-profile transfer quarterback? I can't believe it got to the fourth question. Um, <laughs> he did a great job. I mean, that's uh, – he, he, shoot, he may have scared off anybody that would want to come here anyway. So, um he was awesome. I mean, it's a it's a performance game, and I you know I've said, you know I've said previously, and our, our local guys know this. It, it's really really important to me the longer I coach um, and going through this. And I I don't know it all, but having people that this program is 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 incredibly important to them. Um, that is that's the key, and I think in in this day and age with all the movement, when when you have guys like that, it's it's even more of, of an advantage than maybe it was five or ten years ago because it's becoming a little bit harder to find. Um, Miller's had a, 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 a passion for this university and program for a long time. You've seen that in his ability to, to hang in there, to continue to get better. Um, part of, I think, the reason he played well tonight is the consistency that he's brought. You know, he could have, he could have bolted off at different times. He stayed here. He's gotten better, and, and uh, that's why a night like tonight happened. And he's obviously a tremendous leader for our program, was a great leader for us tonight. And I'm really excited to see what the future holds from him because he's going to get better and better. Coach, earlier in the week you talked about Louisville's defense and how good it was, specifically their red zone defense. Can you kind of put into context what your offense was able to do tonight? I mean, they gave up with 16 passing touchdowns on the season, got what, six tonight. Yeah, we played we played well. I mean, that's a good defense, you know, and they they weren't like a few of the other sides of the ball, you know, where you know they they weren't decimated by or say decimated. They weren't affected right by a lot of guys holding out or different guys. I mean, that was pretty much the same unit that we saw all year and. Yeah, for our guys to make some of those plays, it was great. Um, some of the competitive plays, but again, it just the the the, the entire vibe of the sideline felt different. The guys, you tell the guys, were really just playing for one another. Um, you know, just across the board, you just felt it. You know, you felt that the defense wanted to make plays for the offense. The offense wanted to make plays for the defense. If if one of us didn't make a play, um, or or we didn't didn't score, or we didn't stop them, it was just all right. The other side's got to go hold up their end of the bargain, and we just did that all night. And um, that's a lot of credit to these guys. Uh, at times, yes, yes. I, I think these guys would probably would probably agree with that. I mean, I like I said, I think our the player leadership in this game was was in, and in the last six weeks was really really strong, and a team the team reflected that in their performance tonight. Hi, I'm Madison Hogue um, from Annenberg Media. Miller, my question's for you. Like Coach said, the leadership was very high in this game in particular. So how did you step into that leadership position and get yourself ready for this game? Yeah, I mean, I think... Um, Sorry. Um, from a leadership standpoint, like, we had a really strong senior group and a really strong group that wanted to come back and play this game, and I think that was really led by them. They set the example, and it was easy for me to then fall in behind them. You've got guys up here, Taj and Max and Jarek, so a little younger, but guys like Solomon Bird and Justin Dietrich who came back with a with an intent to win this game, so it was easy to kind of follow their lead in that sense. You guys, let's go with one more for the coach, and then we're going to go to the players. Okay? The players are here. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Coach. coach, can you speak to why you chose the four captains you did and how important those guys were, not only for the last six weeks, but how important they've been setting the tone for next season as well? Yeah, I just felt like it was we, – we, we've kind of had this mantra that it's new team in one game. And, and I felt like, all right, if we're going to have a new team, you know, we probably need some new captains. Just felt like it was not anything against the guys that weren't because a lot of those guys that, that – that, played with us tonight were certainly still big factors in terms of leadership as as Miller attested to but now uh, there was a lot of reasons I mean Taj you know I can I kind of told the team when we announced it you know I mean Taj guy could have you know, he's going to be an NFL draft pick here in a couple of months um he he could have had a great case for not playing this game uh but there's anybody that knows Taj knew there was a zero percent chance that he was going to sit out of this game and that's why he's going to be a great pro and uh 
So I thought a great example there. You know, Chris Thompson, you know, is getting ready to, to, to make another move um, in terms of, uh, you know, a better opportunity on the field. He's been up front with us about the whole time. He was a great team first guy this whole year. Once again, could have left and said, no way am I leaving my guys. Another great example. Um, and, uh, you know, Bryson Shaw has been, I think, one of just our toughest, most consistent competitors, like one of the guys that you just know every day he's going to be there. And every day he's going to fight and give you everything he has. And then obviously, you know, Miller represented the, the younger group, uh, some of the guys that are getting some of those first big time opportunities that have fought their tail off behind the scenes, that have a lot of respect within our locker room. And I think our team was really energized to see not just Miller, but a lot of these other guys get this opportunity tonight. So just thought they all kind of represented something different. Um, and again, they those four guys deserve a lot of credit, but there's you know a ton of other guys, you know, Max, you know, Dietrich, all these different guys that were a part of, of leading this group and, and they really came together. Thank you, Coach. All right. Next all right, boys, how are yours?